Alright. Hey guys, welcome to a vlog different type of video. I'm always playing with my eye when I start a vlog. <laughs> I've heard a nervous tick or something. But hey guys, welcome to a different type of vlog. Well, in the beginning of the year, me and Stephanie here had this memory box. They were like, they saw that thing on Facebook where it's like, you keep a box and throw memories in it and then like open it at the end of the year. And we was like, but man, we did it. We're going to make a video just for you guys. Thank you, Hobby Hobby. Yeah. <laughs> with the cute little boxes and cases. I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know. We're just going to each put one at the, uh, memory at a time. Or... Well, you have the most, so. Like, we can still do, like, or I could do two at a time and you do one. <laughs> and then I'll be over here dog more. You keep going. <laughs> Most likely. All right. Uh, so Taylor is going to start us off with a few. <laughs> 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 yeah, just to let you guys know, like, once I, like, open the box, I don't, I mean, once I open the box, I put the memory inside, I don't look at it ever again until I open it again to put more memories inside. Same. So this is all going to be new. <laughs> So yeah. Let's see if she remembers all of it. Well, let's start with the teeth, because I just brought... So I got teeth in my thing. I never wore them. It's from the Haunted Helms. I played a demon in the beginning, and I was supposed to have these teeth, but I kept up forgetting to boil them so they could mold into my teeth. So I just forgot about it, and so did my makeup artist, and then I switched characters in the middle of the seasons anyway, so it didn't matter if I had these teeth or not. But I threw it in there because I was like, well, now I have fake monsters teeth for whenever but it's kind of cool because it's like they made this out of clay and plastic too so it's all homemade you can't get in the store and shit but yeah that memory october this year <laughs> actually september this year i lied i knew she wouldn't remember <laughs> thanks fam <laughs> so do I do another one? Yeah, keep going. You got plenty. The receipt from us opening the box, uh, buying the box. Oh, I should have kept mine. I didn't think about I that. I use the one they say keep our receipts. I wonder if I did. It's, probably, it's at the bottom, so I don't know. I'll, have to, I'll find it. You I'll find it. it. So yeah, like, mine's in order. Kinda. My my box costs because I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I saved eight dollars. So I'm, apparently I bought food at Hobby Lobby. You buy you buy candy all the time. Right. <laughs> not judging my life. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so you wanna go with the number? Sure. So I'm really boring. It's all paper. Because what's a trinket to me? I don't know. Apparently it's paper. Yeah, you're a writer. <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> Why? Why would that be a memory? <laughs> because so, if y'all ever played Mystic Messenger, <laughs> she wasn't very proud of me, so on my nice trinket piece of paper, I wrote, Mystic Messenger took over my life. I love Zen. Taylor not pleased. <laughs> I need to see that it's a Taylor not pleased. Not in quotes. <laughs> it's just all to the side. No, not pleased. Taylor not pleased. Continue. Okay, okay, I have like two memories. No, that's no, this is a different memory. Well, well, this is like one of the last conventions I went to, and it was Fandom Fest. I was a vendor actually there. Oh <laughs> I was a vendor there, and I was my the booth I was at was at the haunted house I work at, and we had a scare bus. So you just go in the scare bus for free if you was in cosplay and you get scared by our one or two actors. Oh, but yay. it's pretty claustrophobic. So if you're claustrophobic, don't go in the bus because you may die in the first two seconds of the five second haunted house. And then our booth was right next to Bob, Wade, and Molly. And it was cool seeing all those people. And then one of my favorite memories there was these girls who kept on standing by our booth. And I was like, I didn't know why they were standing there. They're like little middle schoolers. And they were both dressed up as cats. They remind me of you, Stephanie. To be why me? Because you want to be Mr. Midnight for friend, though. <laughs> because Mr. Because Markiplier did a British accent. <laughs> His accent for Mr. Midnight made me want to be Mr. Midnight. So I can have that really cool, deep voice mm -hmm. that should be in a book and not a cat. Not a cat. <laughs> so, I went up to the girls. I was like, do you guys want to go through the haunted house? And they was like, oh, we already been through it yesterday. We are just trying to gain confidence to go talk to Bob and Wade and Molly. I was like... Oh, you know, you can just walk over there and be like, hey, 
uh, you guys are pretty cool. So it's like, no, we can't do that. I'm like, I'll walk over there with you guys. So I walked over there and I just introduced them to each other. And they like cried and freaked out. And it was like, thank you so much. And I was like, oh gosh. That was precious. Yeah, they're the most precious beings ever. But yeah, so that's my little convention story helping people out with their fear. Babies. They were so they, precious. was precious. Uh, this one. This is like one of my most fondest memory. I went to Promo Fest in Ohio, but only for a day. But I stayed overnight with a friend. We slept there and stuff. And we saw Lindsey Sterling in concert. <laughs> so yeah. One of the most like fondest memories. Like, so here's the concert line and everything. But one of my most fondest memories is because I met one of my first YouTuber friends in Ohio, which is the Swollen Gamer. Like, this may sound stalkerish, but <laughs> he always talks about what college he goes to, and he said he goes to Ohio University and stuff. So I put two to together and measured him, does he live in Columbus, Ohio? And he was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, well, I'm going to be there. You want to meet up? And he's like, sure. So we went, so we all met up. And I, I made a vlog about it, I put it in the description below. And it's this terrible vlog because I didn't know I was shaking too much in the camera because we was running because there was this uh, car behind us of a family and they tried to cut us off a thousand times while we was driving and then they started chasing after us with their car. Like, we was like scared for our lives. We had to take side roads and alleyways just to get this car away from us. It was just dumb. And then he gave them the And then you hold a gun out the window, like... <laughs> like, they, he hold a middle finger out the window. That's what made them follow us. And I'm like, stop, why would you do this? And he's like, this is a great approach impression. I'm like, I hold a sword out the window, hey. And I get in it. So, but yeah, that was like, interesting 15 minutes of us running for our lives. And then we ate some white cheese pizza because he's swollen in his religion. Like, he can't eat certain meats and it was really hard to pick out a pizza, to be honest. But yeah, that happened. Another memory. <laughs> For my trinket paper. Oh, so my parents went on a very long cruise. I was alone. Home. I was home alone, like the movie. Home alone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have horrible paranoia. My house is haunted, for one. So I called my sister, who lives in Lexington, which is a little over an hour away from me. Like, please come stay with me and don't let me be lonely. Uh, so she spent the week with me and enjoyed it on the paranoia fun. Yay. Oh. So. Put that there. <laughs> put that there. Okay, this is a cute thing. It said, like, I was like, two Irish Taylor from <laughs> Heaven Johnson. Goodbye. So let me tell you this, I took one of those DNA tests and they told me I was like 45% Irish. So, um, so I worked at the haunted house and I was giving me random nicknames. So for at least a month and a half, I was Irish Taylor because there's so much <laughs> other tailors that worked there. And then this little girl, her name is Heaven, that worked there. And she's like oh. the best actor ever. And she's, she's like, precious. she's 10 years old. You never met her because she was gone. No, I met her once when I went there and... You did? I, I oh yeah, you my interview. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot because about that. Because we saw, uh, what's his face there? Who my sister just hooked me up with? Yeah. Gosh, that was awesome. So she had to move to, I think, Rhode Island, which was random, and it was so sad to see her go, but she made everyone, uh, knows, and it said, Black Taylor, Irish Taylor. Girl, you need to keep it up. <laughs> she spelled girl wrong, but it's so cute in the end. But she's 10, so she's it's She's so 10, good. it's cool, and she's an awesome actress. So she needs to keep on acting. She never, she never quit that in her life. She's amazing. Bossy, but amazing. She <laughs> handles doing interviews very well. Yeah, she does interviews. She dude. was, dude, this girl right here. No, mm, that's another memory. Let's do this one. So, whoa, yeah. boop. Our very first business cards in here for the Midnight Grab at Podcast because for any PopCon to like be a press member and stuff, you need to have a business card to do, be a press pass. So Victoria's father made professional business cards for us, and this was the first one. I think the second one looks different, but it says co host Mickey Jones, and then me as co host, and then. Produced by Victoria 
Baker and stuff. And like, which shots may be updated later because of a lot of us are hosts now and stuff like that. But it was just a last minute thing because they needed us to prove that we was a podcast and this is one of the number one producers. So it was kind of cool that we have business cards now that we passed around and people like took them and contacted us and now we interviewed them and it made us feel like a legit business and it's pretty great. So yeah, check out the Bit I Grab Bed podcast starting next month. We'll be bi-weekly. Yeah! Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh. oh. I think that's two items. Oh. I've had a cat forever. Let me be depressing. I've had a cat since before I was in elementary. Oh. I've been out of high school for almost three years. And she passed away this year. And I actually left work early, like five hours early, to go be with my cat as we put her down. Mm-hmm. So, 926-16, I lost my cat named Middens. Mm-hmm. Duh, depression. <laughs> Duh, depression. Ah. Uh- Space cats. Uh, I should get the other ones out. No so I, can't me. I need to get. There's a lot of stuff together. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is my any popcorn adventure here. <laughs> like the very first game that caught my eye was Space Cats, and then there's like on the back is a Space Dog. Did it just is action packed adventure games with good intergalactic animals, and it was really interesting. I need to play that or contact the developers about that. I need to go check the developers for a lot of things. Pix looks so beautiful. I'm so happy about it. You gave me this, didn't you? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I did. Okay. Because I kept the owl. Yeah. I think it's in here, actually. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is yours in there? Because we can show our matching tattoos. I probably suck and don't have it. I found my receipt, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, nope, I suck. It's not in here. Stephanie you got me this tattoo. Where I don't remember. <laughs> the like, corn machine. Was probably, oh, it was the mall. You was just like here. I got you a present, and it was this lion tattoo. And, and then I got the cool. owl one. It's pretty cool, even though I like owls. But still, oh, kidding. too bad. <laughs> too bad. That was good. But yeah, I thought that was any popcorn. Cause it was all sticking together with my actual any popcorn stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about that too. What? Just talk about all indie popcorn. Yeah. So, at indie popcorn every year, you will get these little trading cards with the guests on it. So I got Steve. I got Steve's from Pyre Rangers, and I got Nate wants the battles card because there's like the hidden throughout the thing. And then I got Nolan. And then I got Nolan North. He's the voice actor <laughs> of Deadpool. In the video game, so I got so you throughout the whole event. Once you meet an actor, he gives you his card, or they just be hitting it throughout the place, and it's just pretty great to see all this. That's so and then cool. High Jump was one of the games I played at Indian PopCon, and I should have got early access for this, or it may be on Steam right now. It says it's on Steam and Wii U, so check that out. It's a pretty great game, and they're the sweetest developers ever. So yeah. I think that's all any popcorn in here. Are you sure? I don't know. I can dig a little. Dig a little. Oh, yeah, here. There's another. And there's another car. G Fuel Arena. Okay. So I'm going to go on a mini rant here. The arena was pretty cool. It was a nice, it was a, it was a nice like, hangout area for video game nerds. Like, you play Overwatch in one area on the PCs. <laughs> it was like a big old LAN party. But what I didn't like was there was a, a live stream. Uh, the YouTube is battling each other in the games, but it was completely unorganized. Like, the games, they had 10 games on the list, they only got to at least four of those games because it took too long to set up. Then, in, like, they didn't take the time to set up or anything. The lag was real of it. And they were like, they played one game way too long than it needed to be. And then they played Agario, and there's no way to win Agario. Like, there's no way they can calculate. Yeah, and they just took forever to do. They tried to make it entertaining. But it just got, it just went too long. It got really boring. And it just like, we all just ended up going back to the VIP area. It just sat there while they were finishing up. We just all sat there trying to figure out where we could eat, go out to eat that night. Yeah, and it was exciting that night because I went out to eat with Bob and Ray and Creepy Raven. Victoria and was pretty great. And I was like, eee. But it was like the most expensive restaurant ever. They're like, out of all the restaurants, they were like, steak and shake. It was all these cheap ass restaurants. They wanted to pick the most expensive shit ever. What was it? 
I don't remember what it was called because it was so expensive. It was dark in there too. It just hurt your soul so much that you did, you just remember the amount. Yeah, of money. I just remember it just so much. Money. <laughs> Like, oh, gosh, I'm making sure there's no about any popcorn stuff. If there is, I just, like, talk about it back then. Oh. Talk to you. Well, that's another one. It was almost depressing. My memo, who's half there, spent the week with us. That was horrible. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have anything fun in my box. You really like, give something. Okay. This is my, uh, then, yeah, it was my ticket to one um, of my first legit concerts, I feel like, uh, Fall Out Boy. I went to go see it. I forgot about that. It was that. exciting. I went to go see it with um, my friend Savannah and Victoria. I bought Victoria's ticket as a uh, Christmas gift. And she was helping a lot on the channel, so I bought her that ticket. And it was exciting. We just all sing along to it, jamming. It was a great co interactive concert, and their visual aids was just great. Mm, I want to do what to look at. Okay, this one. Maybe I should like explain why this says what it sh says. <laughs> Black Taylor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my name tag. I went to a horror convention called Trans World, and my nickname at the haunted house, which I created myself. Don't think they're racist or some shit. I need to calm down. I literally said, like, there was another girl, her name was Taylor Baxter, and I was Taylor Blevins, and they couldn't call us, like, Taylor B, we hated our last name, they couldn't just say Taylor, or we both got confused. So I was like, just call me Black Taylor! I screamed that, and then a lot of them was hesitant, because they're all white and shit. So I was like, <laughs> I don't care. If I was offended, I would have quit a long time ago. But I wasn't. And then my boss, like, wrote down, I was by Taylor, but there's the whole convention. Everyone called me Blake because they already looked at it for two seconds. They'd be like, "Oh, your name's Blake." I'd be like, "Yeah." So that's when my sure. other, so that's when my other nickname started in the hog as Blake, or from the comedy skit he and Peel when Susie teach with mispronouncing everyone's name, so people call me Balake a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, so I was Balake Taylor, or Blake Taylor, or Black Taylor, or Iris Taylor, or just Taylor Taylor. Tay Tay. No. <laughs> oh, quick. <laughs> <laughs> quick, your whole thing just shuts down. <laughs> and now I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're kicked out. Bye. And I got this sticker too from Transfer. It's like a skull and shit, and it looks pretty dope and cool. So, bam. Sticker tattoo. I don't know. It's a sticker. It's from Red Rumble. Oh, pretty great. So, bam. I work at Kroger. Mm -hmm. I started at a new Kroger. I started life at a new Kroger. <laughs> I started life as a new Kroger. Almost three years in. Oh. Ah! So, this right here, I got a lot of takeaway addresses. It's my letter to myself from like my freshman year. <laughs> they and my teacher just recently mailed it to us. I had a dollar in here and it was pretty excited because I needed a dollar. <laughs> Oh, I know! It was a exciting time in my life. It was just like, I don't want to read it <laughs> all the way through, but it just talks about. I'll read it. What? No. <laughs> uh, uh, like, I love the PS. Uh, PS, I put that. Like, here. Here's a dollar. Buy a soda or something with it. Lol. And I'll name myself one year in this. But I was just talking about, like, hey, be yourself and. You can make sure you train to be a manager, a stage manager to be exact. Don't quit your YouTube life and stuff like that. And it's pretty, yeah, so it's me motivating myself. And that kind of motivated me in the middle of the year. That was pretty good. Cool. motivation. Yeah, I just love that. It just came at the perfect time. Cause I totally forgot I wrote this. And it was like a nice moment of like, you wrote this one year ago from, not one year, but I don't know when I wrote that. <laughs> But I don't know why it says it's just this one year. And I know I wrote that my freshman year or my sophomore year. I don't know when I wrote that, but it just said one year. Yeah. Was that just one thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Happy Badger Studio. Another game developer from any popcorn. Like, I just just love their the tag. I would just, that's all we talked about for an hour with them, was just her logo, it was Happy Bear Studio, Happy Badger Studio, Happy Badger Studio. 
Oh, he's so pleased. Yeah, cause honey badgers rule. <laughs> and like, I th thought about like I should decorate my laptop, but I'm maybe get a new laptop soon. So I wanted to wait and save these stickers. And then bam, we're in my other laptop with all these stickers. Like, oh yeah. no, that should be me too. Cause no, I need bam. Stickers every day. She just has random charms in here. Yeah, I do. I'm just gonna take them out. They just popped up out of nowhere. Like you want to see one? Yeah. Here we go. Let's grab this one because you said you liked owls earlier. It's an owl. <laughs> More Hobby Lobby. You were. <laughs> did, did you get all of them? I think I did. <laughs> she might have. Good. Random berries in here. I may think of a sword for that. But <laughs> don't worry about it. She just threw shit in there. In all honesty. There's Probably. just things. Um, oh, yeah. If you live in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look. If you live in Kentucky, you know. <laughs> There's this thing called Glendo Days. It's actually a little ways away. But I went there and I bought things. <laughs> Bought all the things. <laughs> I think was this the year that I bought the marshmallow shooter? Probably. I, I bought a marshmallow shooter for an, <laughs> and it was sugar skull covered. And I was like, "Yep, I need that." So I shot my boyfriend in the neck with a marshmallow. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it actually hurt because I play trombone, so I have lungs, and <laughs> I could kill you with a marshmallow. Oh gosh. <laughs> I feel like this is just a random piece of paper I put on here. Probably. Who are you reading to it? No, because I don't even understand what I'm reading. Oh no. You it's knocked my box. I didn't touch it. You knocked it down. I leaned against your leg. Physical three dots, social two, mental talent. Oh, okay. I remember this now. I don't. I. <laughs> So, this is my first D and D paper, <laughs> and I started playing D and D. And when you take horrible notes, <laughs> you're so precious. It was called uh, Vampires Masquerade. Oh, I already know what that one is. <laughs> I was like, it's a video game, also. But my friend was like, join us for that. I was supposed to LARP with them to help them out with acting skills and stuff. Oh. I couldn't do it because I had a paid acting gig that same day. But I did come to the D&D day. And it was pretty exciting. Like, my friend was name was Angela was my character. And I was a boss dealer and shit. I sold drugs from people and just resold them. And it was pretty great. I was a vampire. <laughs> but I hate the light. Sun. I was the only member that hated the sun. Sun. Everybody else liked the sun. I was the only one that didn't. You gotta be different. <laughs> I mean, technically that's not the traditional. It is traditional vampire, but for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all weren't the traditional kind. <laughs> you gotta right. be the sparkly kind. Uh, we got more of the indie popcorn uh, cards of those. <laughs> I never met those girls. I have no idea who those girls were. And then I finally found all the business cards from them. Okay, so... Well, no, okay, that was a, you closed it, it was great. I caught it. You caught it and closed it, it was pretty great. You're welcome, I'm just gonna okay. hold it. Okay, so these two we interviewed in our podcast in, the, uh, in Popcom, they made a comic called Happy Sad Robot. And this it was is my pretty, life. No, it was Lonely Robot Comics. Wow, I messed that up. And we... Interview them on the very last day, just for like 15 minutes, so they can shout out the comics and the money donates to they said lonely robots, <laughs> which is them. No, I was <laughs> but they donate to some charity, and the comics is pretty great. It was about the you can download right now on iTunes. Like you guys just showed up the business card of it, so if you want to get that information, you can get to things on iTunes where it's like a make yourself like high school superhero type deal at like, rock stars and it was pretty great and That's cool. i read a little bit of it and it was like shout out like shout out to them and it's pretty great his partner wasn't there i was supposed to interview both of them but his partner left early so no. i couldn't go so yeah more games to look at smugglecraft they live streamed that there it was og tan crane gameplays and Gur beagley they uh, live streamed that, and they're from the Happy Badger Studio, and they had these inflatable chairs, and we all sat in and just played Smuggle Crab. But it's the hardest game in the world if you don't play with 
a keyboard and mouse. So you play with the controller is pretty hard, and usually it's the opposite. And I was pretty upset about that. I was frustrated because I could not drive for the life of me. <laughs> um, text quest game. I never, I never got a chance to play this. Victoria did and Raven did. But all I remember was there was like text boxes on like it looks like Minecraft. I thought it was like a Minecraft mode for the longest time. But no, it's a typing game, so you can type up what you're gonna do next. And then that's what Discover Your Hope had. And it was pretty great. Hmm. That's nifty sauce. And then my favorite charity in the whole world, Able Gamers. They accepted me into their family pretty well and it was pretty great to work with them and do a couple of charity events with them he should be at the uh craig like they shout out to craig i was like i'm sorry that i missed you craig a couple of times in ohio when i went there when we could have hung out but yeah but thanks for the follow on twitter though <laughs> but he's a nice guy to talk to he's just uh able gamers i always talk about it a lot it's a charity where they build like other game controllers and game systems for kids in like this disability and they can't play video games in a normal way so they design special controllers for them like so they have different events huh that's so sweet i know like, yeah, nice. let's go like, donate yeah. through Thirty thousand dollars that we don't have. <laughs> what money? <laughs> what money? I was looking for this boat everywhere. You found it. I found it. <laughs> so you guys don't know I have a fancy uh I don't know it's not a fedora, but what is it? A Where is belt? it? I'll grab it. It's over there, I'll talk about printer. Take that so I don't fall. Are you sure? Here's your printer. There's your hat. Hats. See, I have that hat, and on the it side, on the side of it, you can like put bows and flowers in it. So these two bows, I totally forgot I had. And it's a purple bow and an Alice in Wonderland bow. Another Alice in Wonderland bow was the first bow I bought, but I never. And then I lost it. I thought, and, but I didn't know my mom sneaked it in my box. So apparently, it's been in the box the whole time as a memory. <laughs> so yeah, wanna go? Sure. <laughs> I hope I'm starting to read them ahead of time and I think it's kind of ironic became a youtuber with fandom freaks productions hey, hey. you're a youtuber now congratulations <laughs> Woo! it's like I do nothing serious I just show up and do videos but we've talked about it and one day in the near future if I can actually do a thing <laughs> Yeah. I want to read my creepypastas. I am a horrible creepypasta author. I have a few, and I would love to read them. But I can't yet, because my laptop sucks. But one day in the future, Taylor already said that I can, I would love to start posting those. Mm -hmm. And maybe become a creepypasta reader. I don't know. That's a very slim chance, because I'm awkward. <laughs> but she asked me to train with and stuff. I'm awkward. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna read another one because I'm almost near the bottom of mine. Good, I... S <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have... I've had my guy for a year. Yay! I've, I've dated my boyfriend for a year. September 22nd, 2016. Taylor... I literally... Hold was your like, box! I was! So, well, one year dating, which is probably the longest thing I've ever done in my life, was Ouch. date someone. <laughs> was... <laughs> That's the last day I've ever done dating. And I, I mean, was, you had your job for three years. And that, yeah, that's all right. Thing. That's the thing, but that's my commitment. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about it. I want to keep them, but we have to wait. I've already told him. Wait three years, and then it's more of a maybe. So More of a maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do a thing. Uh, this is still trans world when we had the freaking $150 wristband right here. If you lose, <laughs> if you lose this sucker throughout this whole weekend, you have to pay $150 for a new freaking one of these. Like you have what to, is it? It's just a wristband, like just to enter. You have to oh. have all that all four days if you lost it. That hurts my soul. Yeah, you can't rip it off or take it off or anything or be invalid. You have to shower with yeah, it. Sleep. You have to sleep, sleep with, with it. it. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. your life. Yeah, this whole thing. trans world. <laughs> yeah, they cool. Yeah, they work at a haunted house to be a manager. The only reason I got to be there, I was 
They was like, you wanna come? I was like, sure. Cause the only reason that I know that it exists is because there's a Halloween show where this guy made, uh, as made things for haunted houses and he'd take them to trans world and I loved watching it because his stuff was so cool. Man, it was really stuff. <laughs> it's batteries here. I still don't want to wear this. Up. She's going to make a story about the batteries. They I saved her life. I probably will. Like, they saved her life. The most intense oh, story. our pens. Yeah. It's our paint pens. Like, it's just. I have a red one. Yeah, we got it from, wasn't was it like uh, half, half price? price books. Yeah. And like, I wanted it because it looks cool. I bought it for her. I was like in school, I was known as the girl that had the weirdest like school supplies. Like I had the highlighter pen where if you hit on uh, open one side to highlight the other side, it was a pen. I don't know what, uh, I had a ruler that turned into a hole puncher. I had the weirdest school supplies. That was versatile. I don't love them all. <laughs> I never knew about the ruler. <laughs> I, I, it broke. Damn it. Stupid kid in high school broke it. He got already excited with it, and I'm like, gosh, hey. <laughs> Look at it, it's a whole bunch of it. snapped. And I was so. I was like, <laughs> just, my, my whole happiness like went down here. You just stare at him blankly my, and just walk away in disappointment. Five. Uh, something else in here I didn't know I had, but you can go. Okay. So I have an awkward friend. Her name's Courtney. I took her to Fuji's for the first time and she loved it. Fuji's is delicious. We go there a lot. When we're done, we should burn our memories. Oh, <laughs> what? No. I could burn mine. Yeah, you could burn yours, but not mine. This is actually- In memory of memories, we had to burn them. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> So, I have two random knuckles in here, I'll and I was- one. No. <laughs> Damn. Okay, the reason these are in here, because there's a lady, her name is the Dragon Lady. Oh! I love her too. And <laughs> she goes to like every ringer convention I ever go to, she's and always there. we have there. to hunt her down at San Japan if she's there. Yeah, hopefully she's probably there, or at least her colleagues are. Because it's a whole company. But the Dragon Lady has these uh, grab bags for like 20, no, or, 10. Or 20. Like it's like ten or twenty, all the way up to a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah. And like, and we got but twenty five. We got the twenty five, but it's fifty dollars worth in there. So you get a lot of stuff, and she gets out the coolest thing. So I'm going to a Harry Potter New Year's Eve party, and I didn't know I had this knuckles until now. And it's the 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 goading quid. That quid. That's the snitch. Snitch. Isn't that the one that I gave you? Like we traded something out of those bags. I don't know if you gave me this or not. Or, no, I think you did have that, but didn't we trade something? Yeah, we trade something, but it's probably hanging up over there. Yeah, I think, yeah, you had that. Because I had octopus earrings, too. Those are cool. Yeah. Well, so I got the snitch. You know how much knowledge I have of Harry Potter. <laughs> more, I have more than you. You do. I only, yeah. I only watch three movies. You depress me. I do suck, though, because I still need to watch the last two movies. And I've been threatened to get tied down to watch them. And I will not object to it because I want to watch them as long as they feed me. So, I, I think I was going to give this to somebody and I totally forgot. No. Because <laughs> now I'm going to worry for myself. And then probably give it away as a gift. Sorry. <laughs> and then there's this, this necklace that I think I refused to wear for a while. And it was a it's a Ouija board I <laughs> necklace. Would still to wear it. Nope. Yeah, I think I I think I refused to wear it, but I probably wear it at the haunt. I think I was looking for this at the haunt and I could not find it. And so, but here it is a Ouija board necklace, and it's I have it. I think I know somebody I could get this too. But it's, I wonder if they can use it. Please, probably. please no. <laughs> please no. Like <laughs> have a mini like request and put on the necklace. You want to speak to the dead? Why they like borderline? <laughs> no. All right, you want to do that? Sure. Uh, two years of Kroger. Yay. Did you have a three years one? Did he just have another Kroger? No, I. I had two years of Kroger first, August eighteenth. And then, I don't remember when I moved to my new Kroger. August, uh, it was September-ish when I moved to my new store, or October, because I remember doing Halloween, and I had a little girl call me something. 
it wasn't mean or nothing. She was just trying to understand what I was, and I was a dragon. So. <laughs> what are you? I'm a dragon. Rawr. <laughs> heaven. Huh? Like heaven. Oh, uh, stop, hold it. OMG Con 2016. And we met Nate once to battle, and he liked my fat squirtle. That yeah. I, I, I bought a fat squirtle in Charmander, and he likes pretty positive squirtles, his favorite Pokemon. So I was like, oh, Nate needs to sign this. So he did, and his girlfriend fell in love with the fat Charmander that I had. Because I told her about it, but I didn't have it on my person, so I was a little depressed. So, say to Japan, if she's there, I will show her this fat squirt, fat Charmander, and probably give it to her. Here, have this fat Pokemon. Have this. You can take, take it. Take this fat Pokemon. But, yeah, like, at Owen of Yukon, I made, made a guitar pick necklace. Like, he had, like, three guitar picks right here, and then I made his girlfriend a bracelet, and she wore that bracelet all the whole weekend, yeah. and it's pretty excited. And one of the charms fell off, and then I fixed it for her, and it was pretty, like, one of those bonding moments, but yeah. Yay. But she was like, I'm wearing this the whole weekend. I was like, ah, I did it! <laughs> it was pretty great. Have you ever seen Nate wear his necklace that you made him in any video yet? No. That would be cool. I feel like he doesn't wear a necklace. I think I did a mad move on that. Because he gave it to his girlfriend right after I gave it to him. Cause I think because he didn't want to lose it. Or he probably got thousands of necklaces. Because, you know, a lot of you makes, like, Markiplier and Jack a whole bunch of bracelets. But, you don't because their whole arm probably be covered in <laughs> the, the Bracelets! The bracelets! <laughs> so he made it. So, like, hopefully he still has it. I know his girlfriend still has it because I've seen it her wearing it in pictures. Oh. So she still has that and I'm pretty excited. So OMG Con was pretty fun. It, it was, was excited. I haven't missed a year yet. I thought I was going to miss next year but i'm not because no. olivia yeah she ch she changed her mind we were going to an, we were going to sans japan so we had a discussion about skipping omg card but our mutual friend is going so she's gonna jump yeah. in her car and go because i'll be that's who i've been going through go to og car with all the years and then i skipped one year and went with stephanie but every year i've been with her because her parents pay for everything so I was like, why not? Cause yeah. I might be a Phantom Fest this year. I want it's still at the fairgrounds, ain't it? Cause yes, the cause the center convention center is still being worked on until 2018. Uh, so we get one year for one more big area. Yeah. Up here, but yeah. Like I like I'm if I go to Phantom Fest, I'm only going one day. Cause this one of the conventions that does not excite me at all. I went for one day. And I was pretty satisfied with it. I feel like it's just a big old shopping center for me, and I'll go there. I mean, but right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't mind shopping, but for a few days, a three-day pass. I want what they do after that. I think that's why I like it, because I get to shop for merch, anime stuff, and see people talk to people. people. Who, the vampire guy from... Oh my gosh! He was so funny! He was the nicest oh, guy ever! Um, What's that show called? Being Human. Because it's up there. Yeah. My picture's up there. Like, it's behind Stan Lee. Oh, it's, it's in my memory boxes. Because That's Stan Lee is the first one. Yeah. Stan Lee is 94 now. Happy birthday, Stan. Yeah, don't die. I heard. Don't you? <laughs> but yeah, we met. The guy, <laughs> ignoring her words, we met the guy that played the vampire. I can't remember his name. And he's just. From the US version of Being Human. Yeah. He's super funny, and he's just like, so, tell me about yourselves. And he was just really friendly. Yeah, and I was like, ah! He signed my poster. That I, I got the Wolf Boy signature, but I stand in line with her to get the vampire one. Because warm. I'm vampire. And then I was like, day. and I was like, I'm so nervous to talk to you. He's like, don't be nervous. I was like, ah! <laughs> what was our thing that we wanted to say to him? What was the thing that I wanted to say to him? I have no idea. Because she kept saying, say it. It's like, no. Like I like your face. Probably. Oh yeah, I like your <laughs> face. <laughs> but yeah, because you need, because you needed change. I think you did, and then we just ended up sitting, talking to him for a while because you needed change. They were switching something. They were doing something because we were right in front, and we couldn't walk up to him right off the bat. And I think they were changing security guards. Changing security guards, but didn't didn't they say you had to exact change your cast because you had to pay for it? I don't remember. I don't remember exactly, I just know that we had to wait in line, and, and we, we just had a casual conversation with him, waiting for him to sign my poster. And then he was like, we always have fun on set, and he like talked to the other co-hosts, uh, co-stars, and they was like chatting with us, and I was like, ah! It was ah! Really cool. I was like, 
exciting times. The only one that wasn't there was the ghost girl. Was she? Not sure. Let's choose the one that was next to him talking. All right. All three of them were there. My memories are foggy. Yeah. It's just we didn't get our signature because it was sixty dollars per person. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Or you like a hundred and fifty dollars for all. Mine wasn't that bad. It was just like buy the poster and get a signature. Yeah, ten dollars buy the poster and then yeah. Cause if I knew that if the things wasn't free, I would have bought my own or bought something else probably. Yeah. I don't know. Oh dick king. Walmart every month we get buttons, like Either it goes with whatever movie we had, which is Star Wars, or like the stupid stuff to say. You want to know how you say twenty five dollars? We really don't say twenty five dollars, but low key. I feel that Kroger fuel points. How do you earn more fuel points? You get fuel points by buying stuff. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. This is also another thing from Trans World. This was just a, like a skull bracelet that looked pretty cool. Tattoo idea right there for people that wants a flaming skull. <laughs> right there. And it's just one ribbon. I feel like anyone can make a ribbon bracelet. I could not. Why? Talent door. Ah! That was your fault! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> um. Nuclear Aquarium with my boyfriend. Oh. Fish! Jellyfish! I love jellyfish. And it's not because of Spongebob, it's just jellyfish are so cute. Freaky They're like squishy. I dyed my hair. This is, the <laughs> <laughs> this is the first year that I've dyed my hair consecutively to keep it the shade that I want it. Which is red. That was intense. RED! <laughs> yeah, okay, Markiplier. <laughs> I was red first. Mm -hmm. Crank, I don't, I hey, Crank Gameplay was blue first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the salt. salt. Are you done? Or are you going to make it gone? You I can have, go. I have more so. You have still a lot. I fell back in love with Italia. I thought that said hentai. And I was no! Like, I was like, Stephanie, no. No! We just started, Yuri. I was like, <laughs> uh, I'm not the <laughs> Hush your face. But no, I looked up the new seasons for Italia and the art, the voice actors, and Italy actually has eyes that no one knew he had. What? <laughs> <laughs> he has eyes? Yep. <laughs> that's like that's like the mystery that Brock has, is he got eyes. How, how does Brock see you? Like a squirt? <laughs> 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 oh, I've been wondering how long I've had my phone, and apparently I've almost had it for a year. Yay! I remember when you bought it because your mom called you for cases. <laughs> <laughs> February 5th. I got my new phone. Oh, LG yes. Stylo 2. Oh! Fancy stuff. Fancy space. I only have a few things left. Free things. I have... I have two receipts in here. I technically have... Three, I have that memory card in here. Oh. What's this? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's our pins receipts. <laughs> <laughs> we bought the pins. Oh, guys, don't die. When I get excited, I cough. Uh, that's not a memory. That's just a pins card from something. So we don't have that much more. So her pin that she had earlier, I found the receipt because I don't have this my pin one. on me. Ah, uh, <laughs> how much was it? <laughs> it was a dollar ninety nine plus tag. What? <laughs> Worth it. Uh, this is my name tag. I was a Christmas elf at a hotel. I don't know if it's going to be happening next year or not, but it was a fun little job to do to be an elf. And my names was like Angel and Pixie. And like, we just had to be nice to kids and just be holly and jolly all the time. And just be like, ah! <laughs> like, when adults ask you so many questions, it just gets annoying, and then they get annoyed, and I get annoyed. Like, do you want me to answer like a normal person, but I can't break character, or we can get in trouble for that, and I don't want that to happen. So, yeah. I would break character so many times, because I deal with people too much anyways. That'd be a horrible thing. I'll pick it up later. There you go. Okay. So, this is why I actually started writing the dates on the paper. January 21st! Watch new anime called Say I Love You, which is super cute, and my friend Shelby is pissed because I have yet to finish it, and my cosplay crystal came in. 
It's over there on the bed. Ah. <laughs> I'm not wearing it because I wanted to wear my creepypasta necklace. Because I'm committed. <laughs> so I kept this charm in here. Because this charm actually had meaning to it. It's a horse carriage. And this symbolized me becoming more a part of the, of the Victoria fandom. Like... And I don't know. The V2 fandom just came out randomly. I literally looked up cryotic fan fiction or something, or fan art or something, and then V2B kept on popping up, and I was like, alright, let me further investigate this. And then there's like story behind it, then I noticed there's a motion comic with um, PewDiePie and Marcia, and that's when the horse drawn carriage, and I was like, this is really cool. And then all my friends was like creepy policy readers, and I was like, what about fan fiction readers? Like, not like the dirty ones, but just like serious ass stories, short stories. So I started reading those, and then there was this story called Trouble Me Too You, which is on China, which is on a small hiatus with the voice acting. But the story, the story itself is discontinued, but the voice acting is just on a hiatus right now. They're like organized stuff, doing this whole transition of switching stuff over and going back to the habit of things. So. And then I just have met this great community. Uh, Gabby is an amazing artist who draws the V2B like wallpapers and stuff. We used to support her. She has the new comic out, uh, a V2B comic actually out now that you can read for free on Tumblr. Chapter 1 has just been done. Chapter 2 will come back next year, I believe, in the beginning of it. Don't quote me on that, but that's a thing. And I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, she started a new mini comic. The side story is how Cryotic and his group met and stuff, so and that's going on right now if you guys want. But that would come on Tumblr at a later date. It's only for Patreon members only if you donate $5 a month, which I do. She's a great artist. She deserves every bit she gets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you more? Just my receipt for the box. I got it. Oh, look, I'm done. I hit it for both of us. Like we both this year, we both started getting addicted to Overwatch. I was first, and I discovered it by accident. <laughs> I discovered it because of her. I like my friends date uh, a gaming couple that's playing it, and everyone was like, "It's free." It was there in a free beta during in March, so it was the first one. Not but, for me. So I did it, <laughs> and I played it, and I was like, I hated it at first. Cause this one guy was yelling in the ear because I didn't know I was my first time playing it. So I gave up on it. I was like, you know, I hate this now. I'm like, no. Then I started playing it by myself, and I was like, all right, all right, let's just get the feel of the characters. Then I started playing Mercy a lot because everyone hated being a healer. So I was like, I like being yeah. a healer. Cause I can stay back, and I can still heal, heal people. So I did that. And then I felt really wanted, and then a lot of people say you're a great mercy, and I was like, all right. So that's why all my hours is to mercies or healers and stuff like that, because of that. And all mine's to diva because I take a lot. And then the next one is probably the offense, which is Reaper, and I've been playing a lot of Sabra recently. I would love to play more Hanzo because I still suck. Hanzo's pretty hard to play. I think just because he has a crossbow and it's just. I try to do like. I try to be secret archer dude, dude, and I try to go up high or a high further back to where I can aim further back and not be seen as much. Sometimes it works, and she has batteries. No, where this game. Once upon a time, batteries happened, so Taylor has them. I don't know where these batteries came from. I don't know. Magic batteries. Does anyone and my, need? And my memory card. How I get it? <laughs> memory box, memory card. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I also started playing Undertale this year. That's good. Yeah, we like we have a video, we have a video of that. I put that in the description below too. Oh, that's memory from... box done. Woo! We're like January first. We'll start our new adventure. Let's see the... what we get for 2017, 2017. guys. The science on. Hopefully, league doesn't suck. I'll find more trinkets. <laughs> more more than not paper. Wait for Sam's Japan stuff. That will be in this box. I will that. freaking bring a person back in this box. <laughs> He'll be uh, hiding in there. <laughs> My son Raven just pops out. 
<laughs> no, the batteries. I'm gonna be confused. No, I'm gonna keep the batteries in there. And when we do this video, I'll be like, uh, yeah, I'm like, where did these batteries come from? I'm gonna be the same. And guy. I'll tell the same story. <laughs> like, Once upon a time, kids, Taylor has batteries. Maybe next time, I'm just gonna tell this most dramatic ass story with these batteries. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> like, one time, I was at St. Japan and One's I died. named Jeffrey, the other one named is Rachel, and we're gonna make a love story. <laughs> There, Jeffrey and Rachel. Yeah, I'll yeah. color one for Rachel because Rachel's a girl. We're gonna put. She, you don't know her gender. She, <laughs> gender is just a word. <laughs> you can, like, don't listen to her, Rachel. <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. I have a battery. <laughs> I like. I identify as a houseplant. You do it, Rachel. <laughs> I want to be a ficus when I grow up. When I like grow up, I want to be a pink sparkly donut. I thought you already were. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, we're going to try to reach our nerd level up to highness. Oh, yeah, because when we go to the conventions, we like create special tasks for us. So we can like upgrade our level of nerdness. Like when we see somebody, we just get over excited. And our favorite one was definitely yelling at Marshall Lee. Yes, like we fangirled so hard. It's yeah, like, oh, I'm there because right here. like the first it was a whole group of just like freaking Marshall Lees and then Fiona and Kate and like everyone. We were so happy. We so was like, like Marshall Lee, because like our whole mission was we're gonna fangirl when we see Marshall Lee, and I got a little disappointed because that was it was not that many Marshall Lee cosplayers. There was one majorly good one that pulled yeah. it off very well. well. And we were leaving, and he was coming in, so that's what I was like, you, you ready? Yeah. So we did it. I don't even remember what we said. Oh, we right. like, ah! ah! It's Marshall Lee! That's probably what we did, we just freaked them out, and we like, scared them. The, no, I, I, I just remember that he was pretty chill, I was like, hey! He was like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, ah! Hey, Marshall, clear! <laughs> ah! Cause like, and like the year before that when I went to the convention, it was like so many Marshall Lee, so I thought it was not gonna be that hard. And then it was just one. And then Fiona and Kate calmed down, even though for some reason the fan base is still highly there. Cause like, convention time is ending. Like, this yeah, is and everyone us. wants Fiona and Kate. We yeah. have the comics. We want the anime. The anime. The cartoon. <laughs> My anime. I mean Japan, come on! Come on! <laughs> it's, like worse than the, it's worse than the argument if Avatar is an anime or not. <laughs> Which one? There's two. Yes. <laughs> but it has been confirmed Avatar is an anime. And Kolyoko is too. Yeah, because that was Kolyoko's. a lot. Of, that was a lot of arguments with that one. Kolyoko is boss. I love Kolyoko. I always nominated that in like Anime Club because I wanted to watch all five seasons of it. I remember. I remember watching it on Cartoon Network. I don't remember watching all seasons, so we should do that. Let's watch Kolyoko. Cause I've marathoned that twice. No, three times in my life before. So apparently and we're gonna watch Yuri on Ice tonight and Kolyoko. No. <laughs> we watch some Yuri on Ice. We do yeah, Kolyoko. She has there. me hooked on that. We're cosplaying the little triplets. Yeah. We're gonna make a missing poster sign for our other one. Yeah. Because there's only two of us. That's going to the conventions. Because we have a third one. She just won't be traveling with us. No, because it's our thing. Yeah. We've made this our thing. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't really see. <laughs> Why is your glasses not on? Because I don't want them on right now. Because apparently everyone thinks I don't wear glasses. So let's go. <laughs> and then laugh. You gotta laugh for like a... <laughs> 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 Match your thing perfectly. My icon doesn't have ah! glasses. Cause so, I sent them a picture without your glasses on. My graduation forgot. picture where my mother made me take my glasses. So in that picture, I was blind. <laughs> I was blind, <laughs> and then the Lord gave me eyes again. <laughs> you see, like Call glasses. Me. Oh, I can <laughs> see clearly now. The rain. Glasses. <laughs> the glasses is back on. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it, you guys. That's all the memories we care to share. That's our last video for the year. And I guess we see you next year of Phantom Freaks Production. So Phantom Freaks, or whatever you want to call it. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Stay beautiful, my freaks. Bye bye! Bye!